Good morning. It's another beautiful day, and I'm so grateful to be alive. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about a controversial person called Dr. Sebi. Um, controversial because, you know, the folks are talking right now about uh, uh, someone in Hollywood doing a documentary on the life of Dr. Sebi and how they feel that Dr. Sebi was <laughs> was uh, executed by the pharmaceutical company, etc. And I wanted to, you know, say my little two cents about it. I was introduced to Dr. Sebi about three or four years ago. I am um, I'm uh, passionate about health and wellness. I don't believe too much in the traditional Western um, way of treating um, people that are ill. And uh, I like preventative uh, lifestyle. Because I do know, as they say, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. It's better to prevent cancer, prevent diabetes, prevent heart disease than get to a point where uh, we try to cure it but we do get diseased our bodies are constantly fighting all kind of diseases and so we have to know what to do to heal ourselves so in talking with a co-worker about health and wellness and how we can take better care of ourselves uh, the lady asked me if I had heard of Dr. Sebi which I didn't and she promptly told me that Dr. Sebi has helped many people uh, heal themselves from all kinds of diseases, help people to um, uh, get on healthy pathways, and uh, help people to lose weight, etc. So I did a little bit of research myself. And uh, this man has a, phenom have, has a phenomenal story. Uh, he, from what I could gather, he too had a passion for nutrition and herbs and wellness. Uh, in his uh, 50s, he was very, very sick, had heart disease. He said impotence and all kind of health issues and uh, got help from a herbalist in Mexico. And uh, once he was healed, he decided he was going to venture uh, on the path to help others to uh, heal themselves. What seems to be the issue is that he claims to heal people. He claims to heal people of cancer. He claims to heal people of AIDS. He claims to heal people of all kind of disease conditions. And uh, I do know that nobody heals anyone. It is we heal ourselves. Our bodies heal themselves. And uh, uh, Dr. Sebi, uh, from what I've read, got into trouble with the state of New York because he claimed to have healed people with AIDS and uh, was um, was uh, actually in court. And they asked him to provide proof that these people had AIDS and that he they no longer had AIDS. And they asked for three people as evidence, and he was able to bring seven. That was my reading. And uh, so, you know, here in America, you got to be very careful of what words you use. Um, I don't think that you can say you healed anyone, but certainly you can say the folks heal themselves. And uh, that's what happens. If we treat our body right, our body will, will treat us right. It is no secret um, as to how we can attain and maintain good health and strength. Nutrition is number one. What we eat, how much we eat, when we eat. If we eat a lot of meat and junk and processed foods, um, yeah, we're going to be sick. If we don't exercise, yes, we're going to be sick. If we don't sleep, yes, we're going to be sick. Uh, if we're stressed out and anxious, yes, we're going to be sick. So it's all about lifestyle. This plant you see in my video is called Moringa. 
Moringa Oliveira. And when I was first introduced to Moringa, in Jamaica, my mom told me that there were many testimonials about people who were healed of all kinds of disease conditions, including cancer and diabetes and impotence and high blood pressure from consuming Moringa uh, on a daily basis. And I know um, how my mom consumes it is that she uh, boils the leaves, drink, drink it as tea every day, like a cup of tea. And um, she also eats the Moringa seeds. My sister, who had uh, lupus, uh, swears by it. She believes it's Moringa, Moringa seeds, Moringa leaves, and also um, marijuana tea that, that healed her of her lupus condition. So Dr. Sebi taught a lot about the herbs and um, the herbs are very good for you. The mint, uh, the uh, rosemary, um, basil, all those herbal teas are very good for you. He also taught a lot about keeping our bodies an, in a more alkaline state than acidic state because disease cannot live in an alkaline body. So he was like anti-coffee, anti-anything that would make our bodies acidic. And the things that make our bodies acidic are the artificial stuff and also meat. Dr. Sebi taught a vegan or plant-based diet. Um, so meat, anything processed that you buy in the store in a can or frozen, he discouraged anyone from having that. Um, you were to have raw, uh, as much raw vegetables and raw fruits and organic. Plant your own vegetables and herbs in pots in your backyard. Um, those were some of his teachings. So yes, I do believe that our bodies can heal themselves if we treat them right, if we put the proper nutrition in, if we exercise, if we sleep well, if we decrease our stress level. Yes, I do believe our bodies can heal itself from any disease condition. Our bodies are well able to heal themselves. And also, if we do the same thing, we can also prevent a lot of disease conditions. Uh, yesterday, I got a bit of a bad news. A very good friend of mine was diagnosed with, with uh, lung cancer. And when I started interviewing her as to lifestyle, etc., I know she doesn't eat very well. She does eat meat every day. And the meat that we're getting at the supermarket is horrible. It has antibiotic and all kinds of things that they put in these meats to make these animals grow fast and, and big. And I found out in, in talking to her that she did smoke for three years. So cigarette smoking, even though we might have uh, smoked years ago, sometimes it does come back to haunt us because um, we develop cancerous cells which manifest themselves later on in, in our life. So it's important to have a healthy lifestyle. No smoking, very little alcohol. They say red wine is very good, but even that in moderation, a glass a day. Uh, do some exercise, walking is man's best friend. Our food is our medicine and our medicine is our food. Eat healthy mainly a plant-based diet. Our health is 90% nutrition. 90% nutrition. Some people say they're vegans, but they eat a lot of junk. So remember, your diet, our diet, should be 90% plant-based. And I'm talking about fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, not the canned stuff, because these cans have chemicals in them that lead to all kind of disease conditions. So I encourage you today, take care of your body, take care of yourself. You have one life to live. 
live it well so you can grow old, healthy, strong, and happy. Till we meet again, God bless you and take care.